In this video we're going to take a look at complex numbers and how they can be used to represent vectors. So first thing we're going to do is look at how complex numbers can be used to help us add vectors. So if we have vector m as 1 plus 3i and vector n as 4 plus 2i we can add these up uh, using the complex numbers. So m plus n to add vectors you need to move the tail of one vector to the head of the other vector and we've done that there so we can do this graphically and we see m plus n but we can also do it with the complex numbers so if we add up the real parts the 1 plus the 4 gives us 5 and then the imaginary parts 3i plus 2i gives us 5i and we can see that that matches up between the graphical representation and when we add up the complex numbers we can also multiply a vector by a scalar. Um, in this case, we've got h as being 2 plus 2i, and it's shown graphically. If we multiply h by 2, then it becomes twice as large. It's still in the same direction, but its magnitude has increased. And we can see that if we multiply h by 2 for the complex number, 2 times 2 is 4, 2i times 2 is 4i. So we can again we can see how the complex numbers can be used to help solve this problem. Another thing that we can do is we can multiply our vector by another vector. So again let's have a look at h equals 2i plus i. We've got that vector there. And we're going to multiply this by vector d, which is 0 plus 2i. So the real part here is, is 0, and we've just got 2i for the imaginary part. Now if we multiply these together, we can go through this and work out what we've got. So um, we can just ignore this zero part, and so we have 2i for, for vector d multiplied by our vector h. So 2i times 2 is 4i, and 2i times 2i is 4i squared. Now i squared is minus 1, so we need to multiply the 4 by the minus 1 and overall we get minus 4 plus 4i. So what we see is that d times h is a vector here. So the, we've increased the magnitude of h by a factor of 2, um, and that's because the magnitude of vector d is 2. So we've increased the size of h, but we've also rotated it by 90 degrees. And this is something that's very useful with complex numbers, is that we can use them to rotate uh, vectors. Okay, so that's been a video about complex numbers and how they can help us with vectors. I hope you found that useful. Uh, please remember to like, comment and subscribe, and thanks very much for watching.